Hola, hola, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Alice in Mindfulland. Don't click away. Don't go. Don't go away. Stick around because today I am going to be showing you a mindfulness exercise trick or tool that I learned in my dialectical behavior therapy or DBT. I promise you, it's not boring. It's not sitting on the ground and going, um, I mean, it's fine. If that's your thing, it's fine. Personally, uh, no, it's not my thing. But if you watch one of my previous videos where I say you too can practice mindfulness, you will see that mindfulness is not the same as meditating. So I am going to show you a way of being mindful, being present in the moment without having to chant or as Ruby Wax says, sitting in a gluten-free cushion. <laughs> this mindfulness exercise that we're doing today it's gonna be outside yes I am going out like out out on the street I'm feeling good I'm feeling good I want to I want to go out so that I can do this mindfulness exercise to show you guys I'm excited I've spent months without going outside but now Things are going back to normal and that's why I'm so excited and that's also why I'm feeling much better and I don't know if I should say this because I don't want to jinx it <laughs> but I think I'm no longer going through a depressive episode ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. anyways Actually, I am going out because I have to go to the bank, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to walk and after going to the bank, I am going to the bookshop. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I already went to the bookshop since the stores open here in the UK, but I'm going again and I'm going to try to control myself, but I mean, the bookshop is my happy place and that's why I'm feeling so much better <laughs> I know it seems silly or superficial but going back to normal things that we or I used to take for granted <laughs> not anymore it's it's helping improve my mental health and general well-being I have more energy i want to exercise i want to have a walk for me having places to go it's crucial so i am ready i am wearing my mental health awareness pin so let's go let's do this can you tell that i'm feeling so much better i'm not depressed anymore i could be starting a manic episode but nope no, 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 not this time. Let's not, let's not turn something positive into something negative. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am just feeling much better. I am going places, doing things, and I'm taking you with me. So, come on, come on, let's do this. Are you ready to try this with me? Good. Keep watching. What we're going to do here is to focus on one color in particular. In this case, I chose the color red. So I'm going to look for all the red things I can see on the walk that I'm taking today. And look what I found first. The classic English post box. Not everything I find is going to be so cool, but that's okay where things are even better. Why am I doing this today, you ask? Very simple. All of these exercises have helped me a lot with depression and anxiety.
this is one of my favorite ones because I struggle a lot when I go out. When I'm walking down the street, I usually get lots of intrusive thoughts. This is when I start worrying about the future or I get stuck in the past, spiraling into a snowball of depressive thoughts. So by focusing on uh, trying to find objects that have the color red, I am focusing on the present. I am here in the now. I'm practicing mindfulness and it's fun. So next time you go for a walk or if you find yourself lost in your intrusive, depressive or anxious thoughts while you're walking somewhere, give this mindfulness method a try. You don't have to film or even take photos of the things you find. I filmed everything for this video and I also really like taking photos. But you can silently find your things while you're walking and trust me, it helps. Your mind cannot focus on two things at a time. Of course, the intrusive thought can come back. This is totally natural. Just bring your attention back to the task of finding things with the color you chose and keep going. Keep enjoying the walk and your colors. Before coming back home, I went to the shop and I saw these beautiful red roses, so I decided to treat myself because they make me happy. And I deserve to be happy. Yeah. I'll leave you now with a few photos of more red things that I found on my walk. I hope you enjoy these mindfulness exercises I've shown you today. If you want me to share more with you, let me know in the comments below and also remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see my next mindfulness videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also let me know when you try this exercise and tell me how did it go. Always remember, you are awesome, you're not alone and things do get better.